being loud, abusive. Graffiti. Hanging about the street. Cheek and no respect. Swearing, spitting, dropping their litter. Making a lot of noise, particularly late at night. People driving about playing loud music in their cars. Youngins are getting drunk, smashing cars, playing things like your hooses and that. General misbehaving. Good evening, this is Newsnight Midlothian, brought to you by Midlothian Youth Platform Productions. I'm Dale Keith and I'm joined by Penny Cook. Good evening. This edition of Newsnight Midlothian focuses on antisocial behaviour in our community. Our roving reporters Ross Lynn and Bonnie Riggs have been out in the streets and parks of Midlothian to report on this phenomenon. Also, in the studio tonight we have a panel of people who have an interest in this topic. We would like to welcome Rose Wells, a single parent, Lass Wades, an older resident, PC Bridie Law, Lottie Trouble, a local youth, and Politic, member of the Scottish Youth Parliament and local youth activist. Before we look at the footage taken by our reporters in the community, can I ask PC Law to explain to us what exactly is antisocial behaviour? Yes, Penny, antisocial behaviour is basically behaviour that lacks consideration for others and that makes cause damage to society, whether intentionally or through negligence. Thank you, PC Law. Well, over the last week, our reporters Ross Lynn and Bonnie Riggs have taken footage of a number of incidents which they will comment on. Firstly, we will go over to Ross Lynn. Hello, Ross. Hello, Ross. Can you hear me, Ross? Hello, Penny. It's all the windy here, but I can hear you now. Can you share with us your experiences throughout the week? Yes, Penny. Well, earlier on this week, I visited Vogley Park. I noticed a group of young people having fun initially, but this led to a dispute. Have a look. Thank you, Ross. It would be good to hear from the members of our panel on this incident. First, I would like to address Rose Wells. Rose, as a parent of young children, have you found yourself in this situation? Yes, as a matter of fact, I have on a few occasions, and I have belie I believe that the mother in this situation was not in danger. It's just really annoying when peop young people get caught up in arguments and forget that there are others around them who can be alarmed by such behaviour in my experiences, I have two walked away when I did not young, know the young person. If I did know them, I would approach them. I think it's disgraceful. When I was young, we knew our way and respect our older people. The youth of the day have no respect. PC law. What law has been broken here and what action would you take? This would be considered as a breach of the peace and the young people involved would have been dispersed. Lottie, as a young person, what are your views on this? I'm not exactly encouraging the behaviour of these youths. To me, it is clear that they are completely unaware of the fact that the mother and child are approaching. And Polly, would you like to make a comment? Yes, the situation involved a group of youths who clearly ended up in a dispute. But this is not a phenomenon relating only to young people. Adults regularly fight, particularly at the weekends, under the influence of drink. Young people are also victims and many witness and experience domestic violence behind closed doors and in their own homes. Did you witness any other antisocial behaviour, Ross? Well, yes, Penny. Uh, as you can see, it's snowing a little bit here. But yes, I, I have seen some young people asking adults to purchase alcohol for them. Right, OK, cool. Well, who are we ask now? Whoever the next person comes along. And who's that? That'd be. Oh, it needs to be someone. I'm not getting drunk, eh? Ask Cam. Get the drink. Yeah, mate. All right, mate. What? Can you go and get us some drinks, please? No, no chance. Oh, oh, please, come done on. it the last time. Done it for the email, there. Mm, I'm not sure about this. Oh, come please. on, please. Yeah, oh, please, come please. on, please. Right, well, that's a please. Please. I saw you do it for the other folk there. Right, what are you after? Buckfast and cider, please. Buckfast? Uh, Fair enough. Right, come on then. I'm not buying that for my own money. Well, here you go. Right, here you get some. Oh, cheers. Right. Cheers, yeah. mate. We've got the drink. There he is. Right. Cheers. cheers, mate. 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 Cheers, mate.
on. So I can I ask you just what you've been doing there, please? Uh, the kids are banned for the shops, so they asked if I'd get them some juice and sweets. It's a criminal offence to supply juveniles with alcohol, understand that. I'll have to get into your details and we'll take it from there. Okay. Okay? Of course, you're not wise to say anything, anything you do say will be noted down, maybe using evidence, you understand that. Yeah. Okay. With the number of young people in Scotland underage drinking, I'm sure that this is a common occurrence. What are our panel members' views on this matter? Perhaps, PC Law, you could give us an idea of how common a problem this is. Underage drinking is a problem in Midlothian. Indeed, it is a national problem, and adults purchasing alcohol for underage persons is against the law. Often, it is an older friend, sibling, and even a parent who buys alcohol, so it is very difficult to tackle this issue and prevent underage drinking. To be fair, PC Law, I mean, you can't prevent underage drinking. I mean, me and my pals drink, but we didn't date in the streets where the police will come down on us like a ton of bricks. We date in our houses where we're no stupid with it. Drinking is a part of growing up. I agree. No matter what legislation the government brings in to try and reduce underage drinking, it won't work. We need to have a more liberal and sensible approach to alcohol. We need to change the culture of drinking from about just trying to get completely wasted to enjoying a drink socially. And where do these young people get the idea that alcohol is for getting totally off your head? From parents, adults and others in the community who do so regularly. Well, I have to agree, I'm fighting to go out at the weekend, not just because of young people drinking, but adults overdoing it too, especially when you read in the newspaper about the fighting and sometimes dabbings. Bonnie, you have been undercover as a young person yourself this week. Could you tell us what you captured on camera? Hi, thanks for joining me in the lovely sunshine. Now, underage drinking was a concern combined with the vandalism of public property and in the form of graffiti. Miss Wades, I know you live close to this underpass. Could you tell us how this behaviour affects you? Yes, the underpass show offers me the quickest route to the local shops and my doctors. But because of the group of the youth hanging and then drinking and causing bother, I'm too afraid to use it. Me and my neighbours are too afraid to use the public path. It's outrageous. Lottie, as a young person yourself, hearing that older people are afraid to use public spaces because of the behaviour of youths, how does that make you feel? It makes me sad that people, older people, like my own gran, are too afraid to walk along the street because they're afraid they're a bunch of youths. I mean, there's a real lack of provision in Midlothian, particular for older youths, and at the weekends there's nothing to do, so people, just get, people my age just get around in the parks and, or in the streets. Do you agree with this, Polly, as a young person yourself? Totally. There's very little for young people to do and nowhere to go that's youth friendly and cool with the facilities that young people want to express themselves. As a member of the Scottish Youth Parliament representing Midlothian, with members of Midlothian Youth Platform, we carried out research with over 1,000 young people and the majority of youths want somewhere in their area to go. Although I don't condone graffiti and alcohol abuse, young people can get bored and if there's nothing positive um, for them to do, then poor choices will be made. Bonnie, did you capture any other antisocial behaviour on camera? 
Yes, I must say, some antisocial behaviour can be classed as low level, but the footage I'm about to show you shows that antisocial behaviour can be extremely serious. What are you talking about, Lee? You, you, wouldn't, oh, you wouldn't see a good car if it that's stared a, you in the face. That's a total brush bucket. Whatever. <laughs> you can talk. Oh, well, my car's amazing. Have you seen it? Right. <laughs> yeah, it does like for 60 and 4.8. Minutes. Hi, oh. Oh. You think your car's fast? We Lee can't even see over the steering wheel. He could beat you in a race. Nanny's could beat me in a race. I could. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, what do you think? You want racing? Is that it? Oh, you're kidding me. No. What have you done? This just, no, this can't happen. Come on, we need to go, we need to leave our right before. Would members of the panel like to comment on this incident? This is very shocking and disturbing, but it does show that sometimes tragic results of rash, inconsiderate behaviour. Although the driver was encouraged by the girl, he is still the perpetrator and will dearly pay for causing her death. Polly, as a young person, what are your views on this? Yes, that was really disturbing. But peer pressure is a big issue for young people and we need to help them have their own mind, to think before they act. If young people stopped and thought before taking an inconsiderate action, there would be less victims and less problems for the community. And Lottie, would you like to make a comment? I agree, Polly, but not all young people have good role models. I mean, lots of adults do inappropriate and stupid things without even thinking about the consequences. I know both of you have spoken to a range of local people on antisocial behaviour. Yes, Penny, have a look. Antisocial behaviour has quite a big impact on communities because the people that live there in your community are entitled to live in peace and quiet and lead their lives as they want to. But if people are causing a nuisance by playing loud music or children or anything like that, it then disturbs everybody else. I had a really quite a bad experience with it when I stayed in Mayfield. I had. Um, people urinating on my front door, shouting abuse and things like that. It's, um, when I go along the cycle paths, I'm a keen cyclist and I mm -hmm. often find, especially on Saturday and Sunday mornings, uh, broken glass bottles, um, which seem to have been caused the night before. Young people maybe out drinking and smashing yes. up glasses. Yeah. Um, so that's certainly something I'd like to see stopped. Yeah. So the, the schools, when they go on holiday, we do um, stock counting. As, as we stock count the, the, the products that you know, the school kids in, in the main buy, you know, so that's things like small bottles of juice, chewing gum, sweets, crisps, snacking products, thing, things like that. Um, and over a six week period we lost over £4,000 um, in, in, in those products alone. And it's what we call unknown loss, and, and because obviously we don't know what's happened to it, but in the main that's come from theft. Can we return to our reporters for comments on this investigation? Yes, Dale. Well, from my experience this week, I believe we need to invest in our youth through providing facilities and opportunities for young people to express themselves creatively and believe in themselves. My message would be to the youth, in fact, all people in Midlothian, is to think twice before taking action. Pre-thought would prevent a lot of antisocial behaviour. We would think to ourselves, do I really want to do this? If I do, who will it benefit? Who will it hurt? What could happen to others? Or what even could happen to yourselves? Choices have consequences and a wrong and a bad choice can have tr serious, sometimes even tragic consequences. So think twice would be my message. Can we have final comments from the members of our panel, please? PC Law? As a policewoman, I am very aware of the impact of antisocial behaviour in the community, not just on older people, but on the young people, who are often the victims of antisocial behaviour. It is important to point out that we have a range of powers to deal with antisocial behaviour, such as curfews, 
dispersal orders and antisocial behaviour orders. But if people thought of the impact of their behaviour, then we wouldn't have to use these measures. Rose Wells? Well, as a parent of two teenagers, I can say from first-hand experience that there is very little for them to do. To go to the pictures or an underage disco means taking them through to Edinburgh because there is nowhere to go. They do hang about the streets with their pals, but if there was somewhere to go with, they could have some fun and be safe, it would be great. Lottie Trouble? As a young person, we get blamed for absolutely everything. And not all young people are on the street drinking or just taking drugs or fighting or just up to no good. I mean, antisocial behaviour is caused mostly by adults and not young people. Young people are portrayed so negatively in the media. In fact, this programme, in a way, shows just that because it only concentrates on the antisocial behaviour committed by young people. Politic? I agree with Lottie. Young people need to feel part of the society. They have been pushed aside and marginalised. Adults in the community don't want to see them or hear them. As a member of the Scottish Youth Parliament, I believe it is vitally important that we give young people a voice and a place in society. You never hear about the good things that young people do in the media, and after all, they are our present and they're our future. So Lass, can you provide us with the final comment? Well. Being involved in this programme has made me realise that I am guilty, like many others, of fearing young people and now see their potential. There are two young people that have broken a lot of strength and I now think it is important that we, older people and younger people, come together more often. So I suppose my message would be to give each other a chance. Well Penny, this has been a very interesting topic indeed. Yes, Dale. I hope that our viewers will further discuss the points raised. It's now time to say thank you to our reporters, Ross Lynn and Bonnie Riggs, and to the members of our panel. Till next time, it's good night from Dale Keith. And good night from Penny Cook. Good, good night. night. Regardless of what type of antisocial behaviour it, it takes, uh, what form it takes, you can contact your local police station. You can also contact the antisocial behaviour team at Midlothian Council. And there's various uh, establishments and buildings in Midlothian that you can also pick up forums to report antisocial behaviour anonymously. Thank you.